Well, hello, Grace Baptist Church. Pastor Jeff here. Um, just wanted to check in with you. Uh, this is not a, a normal thing. Um, during the Passion Week, we did some videos uh, each day of uh, the last week of Jesus' life, leading up to his uh, death, burial, and resurrection. Um, some of you have asked for more content, and I wasn't sure we were going to be able to do that, but uh, I come upon something last night that I really wanted to share with you. Uh, it's really, really cool, so I hope that you'll enjoy it too. This is a bit more technical, so obviously I, I couldn't share this as a sermon necessarily, but I think it just shows the beauty and the uh, care and attention to detail that is uh, used uh, in Hebrew poetry, certainly, but specifically in the book of Ecclesiastes. So in preparation for the theology forum, I was reading this book, which is uh, God's Glory in Salvation Through Judgment. Uh, it's a bit of a reference work. It was on my uh, shelf, and I'm trying to use this time to... Um, uh, get some back reading done, and uh, so I was going through this, specifically then I went to the, the section on Ecclesiastes, and it brought out something really, really cool, just, it was just a couple paragraphs, but I thought it was really, really neat. Uh, so, in the book of Ecclesiastes then, um, uh, what this author was pointing out was that there are 222 verses in Ecclesiastes. Uh, so, from chapter 1-1, to 1214, there's 222 uh, verses. Uh, that divides then, neatly, into two sections of 111 verses, uh, and the book actually divides that way from 1-1 to 6-9, there's 111 verses, and then from 6-10 to 1214, there's 111 verses. So why is this significant and why is this important? Um, in Hebrew poetry, it doesn't necessarily work the same way as it does in English. Uh, we oftentimes are concerned with meter, uh, so same amount of syllables. Um, we're concerned with rhyming, so there's definitely more structure involved with poetry than with prose. What's interesting about Hebrew poetry is just the care and the attention to detail uh, that is given. And even in how it's written, it calls our attention to things that are of importance. So if you recall from the very first sermon, that's going back a while now, I know, we realize, but I had done that, uh, I'd actually put this in my PowerPoint for that sermon on the word vanity in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 2, where it's repeated three times. And so in Hebrew, uh, which is uh, again written backwards, uh, to us anyway, it's um, He, and then it's Bet, all right, and then Alamed. And I really, please excuse my horrible uh, Hebrew letters because uh, it's been a while since I took he uh, ancient Hebrew class. Um, but those three letters, again, all consonants, uh, the vowels are kind of added later, late in the game, um, they make up the word that we know as nothingness, uh, meaninglessness, vanity, emptiness, the, the, the word that re uh, appears repeatedly throughout uh, the book of Ecclesiastes. In the ancient Hebrew uh, numbering system, each number had a, um, a numerical value assigned uh, to it. And so if you do a little bit of research, you can kind of find out what those uh, are. But uh, hey has a numerical value of 5, bet has a numerical value of 2, and then lamed has a numerical value of 30. And so the numerical value of this word vanity that we know in uh, Ecclesiastes 1-2, and we've seen it throughout the book, the numerical value is 37. Now here's where it gets really cool. <laughs> 111 divided by 3 is 37. So 37 goes into 111 three times. Again, what's really cool then is in Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 2, the word for vanity is used three times. So it's almost as if the writer of the book of Ecclesiastes is letting us know, take that word, that word, he, bet, glamid, meaninglessness, nothinglessness, vanity, numerical value of 37, multiply it by three times, and you get 111. The two sections of the 222 uh, poetic verses of Ecclesiastes. Now, one final thing to kind of blow your mind. Just take a guess how many times this word appears in the book of Ecclesiastes. I think I've already told you in previous sermons, but uh, it's kind of cool. This word then not only has the numerical value of 37 itself from the three letters that comprise it, but it's actually used 
37 times exactly in the book of Ecclesiastes. So the, not, the word meaninglessness with a numerical value of 37 repeated three times right out of the gate by the author, by the, the preacher, Solomon, to let us know, perhaps, multiply 37 by 3, you get 111, and 111 by 2 is the entirety of the verses in the book of Ecclesiastes. And in order that we didn't miss it, he uses that word with a numerical value of 37, exactly 37 times in the book. So again, a little bit technical, not something I could put into a sermon. But I was just blown away last night. I shared it with uh, Mel, and then I really wanted to do this video and share it with you guys. This is the care and attention to detail that is taken by uh, the writers of Hebrew poetry, the writers of scripture, that as they structure things and just put it together, it just again just shows the hand of God in these things. Uh, not only is the content of the book so appropriate and applicable for us all the time, but certainly during this time of COVID-19, but what an amazing thing to see even some of the back structure of the book and to see how the author put it together. I thought that was really, really cool. I hope you do as well. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you um, on the Wednesday update video, Wednesday night at 7 for our uh, Facebook Live prayer gathering event, and then once again on Sunday morning uh, for our live stream. We love you, Grace Baptist, and I uh, can't wait for the day when we'll be back together again in person.